Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Miles Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you the 2-1-2 zone defense. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Miles Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe button anyways. Today I'm going to show you the 2-1-2 zone defense, how a lot of coaches run it, as well as how I run it, and how... Well, we ran it back in way back in grade 11. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out this zone defense. So here at first, I'm going to show you how a lot of coaches run it. And then I'm going to show you how I personally run it. And uh, well, that way I personally run it is how we ran it in grade 11 because it, it works really well. So that's why. Anyway, so a lot of coaches run it where player three is the player in the middle. Now, the idea behind this is is very similar to how we ran it which was uh, he's more up top except he doesn't really touch underneath the basket which is uh, kind of a weak spot if you run it this way so how a lot of coaches run it is they run it a bit wider up top so that now player three he, his main goal is to stop the high pat high post pass but at the same time He's able to guard up top as well. So he's able to move from that mid post up to that three point line. So that it's able to look between a 2 1 2 as well as a 3 2 zone. Now, the idea behind it is in this way of defending, player 5 and 4, they're guarding this area. Player 3 is guarding this area up top here. And then we have players 2 and 1 out on the wings like this. Now that's a little bit different of how I run it and how we ran it way back in grade 11, which let me show you how we run it there. Well, actually first let me explain to you, this is a double team, this would be a double team here between those two players, then we would have a double team here as well as here. Now this does keep a very weak defense along the baseline, so that's how I don't run it, or the reason why I don't run it this way. But let me show you how I run it and how we ran it way back in grade 11. We ran it a lot tighter. So this one, this defense and the way we ran it was a mix between a 2-3 zone as well as a 3-2 zone. And this confuses a lot of teams. So let me explain. In this defense, we have player 5. He is guarding this whole section like this. We started off super tight. We always started inside of the key. But to reiterate, player 5 has that large area there. Then we have player 3 guarding out here. This would be a double team in this area. Then we would have player 4 doing the same guarding out here. And of, of course, this would be a double team there. And then we would have player 2 guarding way out here. And this would be a double team in this location as well as this location. And then we would have player one, he would be guarding out there, double team in this location as well as this location. If we had a point guard up top, we would keep player one and player two tight to the elbows, and we would have player five move up to guard player one. Now the idea behind this, and this worked super well against teams who had players like Brady Heslip and other players like that who were extremely good three-point shooters, we were able to close off that shot, and then if he decided to drive, we were able to cut him off with the wing player. So this is why it was super, or worked super well. On a side note, this was me. That was that was me. That was my that was my area. If the ball went out to anywhere outside of this zone, player five would then move back down, and player one would pop out to guard him. At this time, depending on where the defensive players were, so let's say they were running something like a triangle offense, player five would, that, five would then move down, player four would pop out, player two would cover the, the center cut, and then player three would be covering the lob pass from the, from, for, the, for the other side. Now, we would have player two running just a bit higher, and the reason is, is so that he can cut off the pass to player three, but while still covering that high post. And as you can see here, it looks like a 2-3 zone defense. Same idea as if the ball went over there. Now, if the ball was in the high post, what we would have now is have player 5 move up to guard and player 4 would then be fronting player 5 in that low post, 
we would then have player 1 popping down for that double team on player 4. And then we would have player 2 guarding both of these guys so that neither of them can get that pass. Now if player 1 was to move down to this low post or like low 3 point line area in the corner and they try to pass out we would have player 4 go out cover player 1 for the shot player 5 would then move back down and we are again back into our 3 or 2 3 zone defense now the idea of this zone defense was to confuse the opponent into thinking we were playing a 3-2 zone to start the possession and then because they would go into the low post because obviously the post is weak against a 3-2 zone we would move that center back down and now we're in a 2-3 zone so it's kind of a hybrid a hybrid defense which works super well. And now if you can run this defense, you're going to win a ton of games. And if you run my, my unbeatable one for zone defense, uh, obviously book is in the description below. You're going to be killing teams as well. Now, as a coach, I run this defense. I run the 2-3 zone occasionally. But this zone defense, I run man-to-man. -man, and then I run my unbeatable basketball defense. I hope that you have enjoyed. I'll see you guys again tomorrow.